Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia is expected to be the tallest building in the world, knocking Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa off its throne. It is planned to be the world's first one kilometer high building and the centerpiece and first phase of a development and tourist attraction known as Jeddah Economic City. The design created by American architect Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa, incorporates many unique structural and aesthetic features. The creator and leader of the project is Saudi Arabian Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Now let's look at the project timeline since inception. In March 2010, Adrian Smith and Plus Garden Gale Architecture was selected as the architect. In August of 2011, the Bin Laden Group was chosen as a main construction contractor with the signing of a $1.23 billion contract, which was less than it cost to build the Burj Khalifa's $1.5 billion project. In August of 2012, it was announced that the landscaping contract for the Jeddah Tower was to be awarded to Lantec Designs, a US-based company, who will be responsible for irrigating 3.4 hectares of green space by using the latest technology in sustainable irrigation. The supply of water to irrigate the green space would be collected through rainwater. On 21st September of the same year, it was announced that financing for the Jeddah Tower was complete. Talal al maim Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of Kingdom Real Estate Development Company said in an interview that they have all the investors, all the finance, all the money they need. It took us beyond 20 months to convince investors working every detail and aspect of financing, al maim is quoted as having said. Now in October, Kingdom Holding awarded contracts totaling $98 million for the project. On to 2013, where in February, the Jeddah Economic Company announced that it had appointed an EC Harris Mace joint venture team to project manage the iconic Jeddah Tower project. The team will be providing project commercial and design management for the Jeddah Tower development. Finally, construction started in 1st April of 2013. Piling was completed in December of that year. In 2014, above-ground construction commenced in September. In late 2017, the owner of Kingdom Holding, which owns 33% of the tower, and the chairman of the Saudi Bin Laden Group, which owned 17% and is the primary contractor, were arrested as part of the 2017 Saudi Arabian Paj. Construction of the tower continued nonetheless. However, in October, the central core of the tower was at 60 floors and the walls were 248 meters high as of end of 2017. A reported height of 252 meters was attained. In 2018, Kingdom Holding Company signed a deal with Orange Business Services to provide information and communication technology infrastructure to Jeddah Towers. Construction of the tower moved forward after a short delay. There was steady progress, but building contractor Jack halted structural concrete work with the tower about one-third completed due to labor issues with the contractor following the 2017-2019 Saudi Arabian Paj. Now Jack said they plan to restart construction in 2020 at the time. However, by 2020 up to date, resumption of construction was, has been impossible by, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and to date the project is still on hold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and do click that subscribe button so as not to miss any of our videos on the building and construction industry around the world.